Yes. Well, how they say it in the island is yeah. aloha kakahiaka. Um, good morning. Ohayo gozaimasu. Um, but thank you everyone for making time out of your um, weekend. I know it's a three day weekend with Monday being a holiday as well. So some of you may be out and about and I know that Trisha is and she has a great co-pilot with her, Diane, um, traveling. Trish um, sent me a message saying they were gonna be picking up a puppy over the weekend uh, from California. So nonetheless, um, just like our call on Tuesday, when Angie was on a horse, it doesn't matter where you are or what you're doing, the fact that you are logging in and being part of this call, you are in the right place and you're doing the right things. And so we appreciate each and every one of you for logging on on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning, 6 a.m. here in Hawaii, um, 9 a.m. in Utah, and for those out there on the East Coast, like Angela, 11 a.m., so a little bit more in the early afternoon, um, but wherever you are, we are glad that you are here. I'm excited today about our active school. It is the first of the year, 2022, and we wanted to start out with a bang, and we do have wonderful, wonderful speakers both are powerful ladies, both are legacy A12. Both have been in the industry for a while, but more importantly, they are leaders and successful leaders. Um, they have a great team um, and you will um, hear it in their message as well is their team um, is what drives them. And that's what I like about these two wonderful leaders um, that will be our presenters today. Now, before I introduce the first speaker, um, I want to just give a shout out to both of them. Um, when I asked them if they wanted to present, both, of course, were willing and are willing to always present um, and help the actives teams knowing, however, that they were going to be um, either traveling or occupied. Um, and the last minute, one um, wasn't sure how her condition would be um, because um, her husband got COVID. However, this is what speaks volume and this is what impressed me both, um, you know, by, um, by both um, wonderful ladies, is that their dedication um, to be, um, here with you today, either live or virtual, um, just goes to show that they they love you and they appreciate what Actives has. And so they pre-recorded um, their videos because they wasn't sure if the reception was gonna be good or if they were gonna be under the weather, but that's how much they love you um, and the training that they have um, after watching their videos already is so powerful that I think a lot um, on this call can learn. So take out your pencils, your papers, um, get ready for a wonderful active school. And so it is my pleasure to introduce our first speaker. Um, she is traveling um, along with one of our other, you know, up and coming leaders um, out there in Oregon with Diane. Um, but Trisha Albertson doesn't need an introduction. You heard her name before, her and her husband, um, Eric. They're um, living currently in Arizona, um, which is almost like my, my second home that I, I love because my daughter's out there um, going to school. But nonetheless, what makes Trisha so, so um, impressive is her willingness to help people in other teams as well, not just her own team, because she understands like David, um, that a rising tide lifts all boats. And that's um, the best thing about her. You know, she's been self-employed before. She worked as an optical tech before, you know, she did some investing before, you know, with all of that experience raising, you know, um, four beautiful children. The best thing about um, the, you know, the profession that she um, chose was the network marketing profession because, you know, she gets to help people. She's been doing it for over 27 years. And out of that 27, 
more than half of those years she spent as being one of the top leaders in various companies. But her and her husband has created nearly quarter of a billion in volume and impacted hundreds of thousands of lives. And I know this, David knows this, Angie knows this from a corporate side because we worked with um, Trisha and her husband before and we know the power that she has. And so starting this new year, 2020, um, she picked the perfect topic um, to, to talk on. And that is the most effective skills, tools and process to start or reinvigorate your business for this coming year. So ladies and gentlemen, all that are on board, I present Trisha Albertson and her video. And do you have that? Well, at least we can listen to what's going on here. Good morning, everyone. Happy active school. Happy Saturday. Happy 2022. I'm Trish. I'm so excited to be able to get to spend a little bit of time teaching and training you this morning on how to make the most of your year, how to get uh, started or how to get restarted. So bear with me for just a second. I'm going to do some housekeeping here and I know presentation. So happy active school. Like I said, we're going to be talking about starting and restarting your business. So if you are um, already in and going, you just have that advantage and that's okay. We're going to talk about both today. So whether you're brand new or you're drawing a line in the sand and starting again with 2022, this is for you. Okay, so let's talk about getting started. You need to know your short term plan. Your short term plan here at Actives is to go what we call A3. We're going to talk a little bit more about that, what that means, but just put that on the back burner for just a second. I want you to make a list of names and I don't want you to pre qualify these people. I just want you to write down people as they come to your mind and why did they first come to mind. Why did you think of that person? Did you think of them because they're your very best friend in the world and you don't want to have the success without them? You don't want to be sitting on a beach a year from now and they're at their J-O-B. So, you know, why did you think of them? Did you think of them because they have three jobs and they need a little bit more time home with their family? Or maybe they have a new family and they have a new little baby and they want to spend more time home with that baby. Maybe mom wants to come home from work or dad wants to come home. You're going to think of them for a reason. Maybe you thought of them because they have a lot of health issues and they just flat out need to know about the products. That's a different story for a different day when you're talking about products and customers. But mostly we're looking for business builders. When we're making this list, we really want to find you some partners to build this business with. So make sure you like them. <laughs> make sure that you can get along and work well with them and make a long list because the longer your list is, the more successful you can go A3 quickly is you want to do it within a month's time. So you're going to make a good long list. Don't pre-qualify them. Don't decide whether it's right for them or not. That's their job. And then set a meeting time. Talk to the person that enrolled you or your upline mentor and figure out how to do the meeting. If the people on your list and in your mind are local, do a house meeting. They know where you live. They're comfortable coming to your house or maybe they're comfortable coming to your office. Put it where they're going to be comfortable going, where it's easy for them to access and where they're used to going. You want it to be something that they feel second nature to. If it's people that you're gathering from all over the country, then you probably need to set up a Zoom because they're probably not likely to all jump a plane and come to your house right this minute. They might. I've actually done that in the past with a mentor that called and said, you need to fly in. This is important. And we did. So you know your people, you know what their, their desires are and what their capabilities are, but set up a meeting that works for them that you can have help from an upline to present. So figure out a time that works for your mentor and get it on your calendar because it's really hard to invite people to something you don't know when it is. But as soon as you know the date and the time, you can start putting out invitations, make sure that it's personal, make sure you're not just putting a flyer on a car Make sure that you're reaching out to them and letting them know, hey, I thought of you because of this reason. Are you open to just coming and taking a look at this? Or, hey, I'm launching a business. Come and support me. I don't care if you do anything with it or not. Just come learn what I'm doing. Or, hey, I found something that I think is going to make me a ton of money. I don't want to do this without you. I want you to be right by my side making money too. Are you open to taking a look at it Thursday night at 7 o'clock? 
figure out the date, time, how you're going to do it, and then start inviting people. The idea is not to tell them all about actives in that first conversation. In fact, the idea isn't even to tell them the name of the company because you don't want them to go do their own little bit of research and make a half a decision. We just want them to say, yes, I'm open to looking. Yes, I'm available at night. Yes, I can be there. What is this? Oh, come and find out. Okay. Your job is really, really very simple. Don't try and overcomplicate it. Now, if you have already been in for a little while and you're restarting, your short-term goal might look a little bit different. What's your next rank jump? Where are you at? If you aren't sure, go back and look at last month. You can actually change the settings in your back office and you can go back to last month and you can look and see where you were, where you ended up. And what's your next jump? If you were A4, maybe you wanna to go to A5. If you were A3, maybe you wanna to go to A5 or A6. So you need to look and see what that next jump looks like. And if you're not sure, talk to your upline. Add to your list if you need to. If your list has kind of dwindled and you're not sure who to talk to next, make longer list. Guys, there's billions of people and we can work in over 200 countries. Please don't tell me you're out of people to talk to. If you aren't sure, dig deeper, go back into your high school list, go into your Facebook account, dig through your phone and look and see who you haven't actually talked to because you were nervous to, or you thought they were too successful or this or that. Stop pre-qualifying. You don't know what they're going through and you don't know who they know. So don't pre-qualify. If you aren't already presenting a presentation, it's time to learn because you need to take it to the next level. You need to be presenting for your people. That is part of the next step. So if you're not sure how to do that, talk to your upline and we can have trainings on that as well on another day. Offer your meetings to your leaders. You're the one that's actually helping to do the meeting for these brand new people. And then help your people to invite. If they're not sure how, do a little back and forth scripting with them because it really shouldn't be difficult. The bottom line is, are you open to something? Are you open to jumping on a Zoom and seeing what I'm doing? right? Help them keep it really, really simple because it's all about just the mass amount of invites. It's not about trying to give them the information right at that time. Keep it simple. Okay, what does it look like to go A3? A3 is as simple as signing up five people in a calendar month's time who come in with the $500 pack. Or sign up your four, because we need one in each of four legs, right? Sign up four people and help one of them sign up one. It's just five people in your group who sign up, five people at the $500 pack in one calendar month's time. Very simple. Okay, so if you are at a higher level, chances are the best next step, and I'm not looking at your group, you might be going to A3 or you might be going to A13. I don't know what your level is. See, only you know that. But if you start by helping one in each of your four legs go A3, that's a pretty good start for most of you. Most of you are at the A2 to A5 or A6 level um, that are looking at this. So it's going to make a big difference. If you help four people go A3, that's an extra $10,000 influx into your business. So know what your volume was last month. Will $10,000 push you to the next rank? Do you need $12,000? Okay, maybe you need to help five people go A3. That means one in each leg, and then find one in the leg that you need the most to qualify to hit that next rank. So there's a little bit of strategy involved in this. And if you're not sure when you look at your numbers and you look at your last month, Make sure you're talking to somebody who understands the volume and the ranks and the back office that can help you. I'm available. You have other leaders that understand this that can help you as well. How many A3s do you need to hit the next rank? Oh, before we go on to that really quickly, I wanna just make sure that I touch on the fact that if you don't have somebody in each of four legs to work with to take to A3, you might have to go back a step and do some more personal enrollment to put people in that leg so that you have somebody to work with. I also wanna make sure, getting ahead of myself just a little bit, I wanna make sure that you don't just draw a line in the sand and go find four brand new people to help eight go A3. If you've got people that have been incubating in those legs, 
go back to them. It's a perfect time to go back and talk to every one of the people in your organizations, if you can, or as many as you can get to and find out what they want. What did they want when they joined um, Actives and what did they want today? Maybe it's changed. Some of them that were incubating then are ready to go now. And some of those that were excited then are in a stall position right now, but you have to talk and have those conversations to figure out where they're at. So make sure that you're not just leaving people behind, but if people aren't ready to run at the speed you're ready to run, the best thing you can do is go sign up somebody new, stick it underneath that leg and help them go A3. And then when you next talk to those people up above, it's an easy conversation and it's a fun conversation because you can say, hey, I just signed up John and he's so excited and he just went A3, things are cranking if you look down at your volume and all of a sudden you might get them excited again. So just a few side notes there. Okay, so now back to our chart. Once you've gone A3 and you're getting started, your next step is to go A4 and A5, but we want you to jump to A6. We want you to be looking to that A6 level because if you help one of those new people that you just signed up in each leg to go A3, it'll jump you right past A4 and A5 and you'll go A6 and then start learning to present the meeting. Be making notes every time you hear somebody present. I know a lot of you jump on the Zooms every night and hopefully you're taking notes. Hopefully you're learning during that period and you're not just there as a groupie. I wanna know that every one of you are there because it's your business and you're learning and you're growing and you're taking little tidbits from every presentation that you hear so that you can become the leader and you can become the presenter. That is part of the game plan. If you are, restarting the next step at that point is to then help one in each of those legs go a six and how do we do that well cheat to the left side of the screen and you can see how to do that they are going to each help one person in each of their legs go a three now you can be down in there helping with that you can be doing some of the meetings you can be saying okay i'm going to help this guy you help these three and then you're helping somebody else in somebody else's leg and they're helping the other three and you're all strateg strategically working together to help everybody go A3. Of course, your situation might vary just a little bit, but the principle is the same. The idea is just to help A3s break in each leg and keep that momentum going forward. So here's the roadmap as a whole. This came from Ryan Thompson, our president. He's amazing make money in the first month if you'll help your brand new people get a check their first month the odds that they will stay in go up immensely and then those that qualify for the 500 club are launched properly they're off and running that's 10 people signed up in a 90-day period so helping them sign up five in their first month helps them hit a three and then helping them sign up the next five the next month helps them keep that momentum, helps them get that $500 qualification. Um, you're gonna get the $500, or you're gonna get $750 in, in product, you're gonna get a tablet, you can choose your prize, but it's really the bragging rights. It's part of being part of that leader group that we wanna make sure that everybody knows about when they're coming out of the gate and then help them hit a three. Five people with a $500 pack is the most efficient way to hit it you can do it with auto ships you can do it with smaller startups it just takes a lot more people so we're going to show you the most efficient route so helping people hit a three there again locks them in for a much longer period of time here at actives means they're probably going to be around a year from now then the next step is just hit a six by helping people do the same thing one in each leg to a three hitting a eight by helping two people in each leg hit a three a12 is just 10 people who have hit a6 so if you've identified eight people as your at that a8 level you've identified eight new people to hit a3 and at the level before that you were working with four people there that's 12 people who've just hit a3 in the last month or two so finding 10 out of that 12 that want to take it to the next level and hit a6 shouldn't be difficult because it's just incremental you moved up to the next step now they're moving up to the next step and you move up to the next step and then they're moving up to the next step so you're literally finding those people that are ready to build you helped them hit a, a3 and that's kind of a an exciting thing for them they made the return on their investment they've you know made profit they're excited they're growing 
but for you, it identifies them as somebody you can run with and somebody you can help. And then when you help those people hit a six, now you're in a 12. Now we're going to keep working with those same 10 people. You've identified those leaders. Now just help them take it to the next level and help them hit a 12. And when they do, you're in a 16. So it's very incremental and it, it breaks it down to where it's not as difficult as it might seem. Basically, in essence, all you're doing is becoming an A3 factory. You're finding A3s, 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 and you're helping your people then find A3s, A3s, A3s. And we're taking them by the hand and we're helping them through those steps to help them accomplish it. It's not just a case of, okay, go sign up five people. No, we're helping them set the meeting. We're helping them know what to say when they invite. If you're not sure and you need more information on that, there's actually videos on actives.info in the training section and the getting started section that can walk you right through these steps, step by step. We don't want to just tell you, go do this and not tell you how. We want to make sure that you know, step by step incrementally how to do this. We know that you can do this. The steps are simple, but they do take consistent effort and they take doing what needs to be done to take it to the next level, to get the information out to people, to share the message that is actives. Your friends are looking for a way to make extra money. They're looking for a way to earn more time and they're looking for a way to expand their lifestyle. Actives has a way that can expand your lifestyle. It can mean that you can go and travel, that you can go and bless people's lives, be a better server, serve on a bigger level, make a difference to hundreds or thousands of people and leave a legacy. Whether you wanna just be here at Actives and make an extra $5,000 or you really wanna think really big, it's all the same steps. So start taking the steps, start your business, launch it properly and let's make 2022 count. Because if you follow these steps, the long-term goal for 2022 is every one of you should be at least a 12 by December of 2022. So as you're making your goals, figure out whether your goal for January or February, but know what your goal is. Is it to hit A3 yourself? Is it to find enough people to put into your legs so that you have people that in February you can help one in each leg go A3? Figure out what your goals are and make 2022 the best year that you can. Thanks so much for your time. Have a rest of a great active school and have a rest of a great Saturday. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Trisha, for that wonderful presentation. I know she was um, on earlier, but as you saw that she was driving and so they might have stepped out of um, cell phone range. <clears throat> but nonetheless, I don't know if you guys noticed as she, at any part of her video, um, the pictures in the background um, look like beaches. Um, Trisha um, loves to travel um, and she loves Hawaii. So the fact that she comes to Hawaii and she knows a good friend of mine that works at the PCC who um, was one of the Samoan chiefs there working there just speaks volume for Trisha um, and the person she is because she attracts wonderful people. She knows wonderful people. And that's why when you hear her presentation, she is um, reach, you know, she told you can contact me directly is what she said in there. Um, and she wants to help as many people be successful as possible. She has a plan. Um, it's laid out A3, A3, A3. But she also said in her presentation, which I love, is learn how to present. And that's what I like about network marketing is you have an opportunity for self-development and personal growth. And this is what these active schools is all about. And she hit the, the nail right on the head. Um, if you are not sure or, oh, I don't know if I should do this or whatever, learn. And that's the best thing about our active schools and our weekly calls is you have the opportunity to learn, but more importantly, you'll then have the tools, as she pointed out, to start to build your business. And so really appreciate Trisha for taking the time to put that video together, knowing that she wanted to present, but you know she was going to be busy today. So really thank her for that. Um, so moving on. Oh, man, I love this lady. 
called Dina Brenneman. Um, she actually is doing double duty today. Um, for those who are Spanish speaking or will be um, listening in on the, um, the Spanish Active School, she's also presenting there as well in Spanish. But she was willing to do a presentation in English for our active school. She's one of the smartest ladies that I know. Um, she has an MBA and is a former human resource director. When you hear her speak, you can see how brilliant she is, but she takes more pride in being a model and an influence and example to her daughters more than anything else. And you can tell that when she takes care of her group, she, it, she's doing it as if she's taking care of her daughters because she wants to be um, an influence in their lives and she wants to represent them in the way that they would wanna you know, be when they grow up. They wanna, she wants to have them be just as much, you know, accomplished just as much as she has as well. Um, her hun hu husband is a marathon runner. Um, and I don't know if she's a marathon runner, but I know when she starts something, she always finishes it and she'll run, run, run as far as she needs to for each and every one of um, those in her organizations and all that's throughout actives. And so um, she was originally from Mexico, but she, you know, moved to the U.S. 20 years ago, um, and she um, is a wonderful influence and presenter. And so, you know, her husband um, came down with COVID a couple of days ago, and she was planning on doing her presentation live, but she wasn't sure if she was going to be coming down with COVID, so she took the time to pre-record her presentation as well, so we could have the privilege of hearing what she has to say. Um, her presentation um, will be about committing to your action plan. So it almost dovetailed off of Trisha's when Trisha is you know, telling us that we need to create a plan. Now, when you have a plan, you know, Claudina saying now we need to commit to it. So it just flows so, so um, great together that these two presentation, I know she's, um, um, you know, live with us. Um, she said she just took her, her test. Um, Claudina, before we play our present, uh, your presentation, would you want to say a few words since you're live with us? Uh, you're still on mute, Claudina. Sorry. Oh, okay. No problem. I know. Okay, I can now. Uh, sorry, I just couldn't take off my mute. <laughs> Thank you so much for um, having me, Stu. And I think so far, within less than 15 minutes, I'm still negative of COVID, which is almost a miracle. But I am so excited and happy to be here. Thank you for the opportunity. And make sure you take some notes because the next presentation is going to tell you how to explode your business. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. So we'll play your presentation. And thank you, she's our legacy A12, Claudina Brenneman. Hello, Actis family. Thank you so much for the invitation, for the introduction. It's my pleasure to be here sharing with you in our active schools. My uh, topic today, it's gonna be commitment to your plan of action. My name is Claudina Brenneman. I'm from Mexico originally, but I live in Sacramento, California, and I'm a rank A12 for Athis. And I've been here since the very beginning. And this project, this business has absolutely changed my life, but more importantly, the lives of many in my team. So let's get started with this topic. We are in 2022, and I know all of you have a lot of goals, objectives, and let's plan and talk about how we're going to commit to our action plan this year, and how would we really uh, make it a good one, right? So what's the secret formula? A lot of people ask me, Claudina, like, what's the secret, right? And some people think that there is a magic bullet that works and that that's one thing that you're going to do and it's going to work every single time. 
supplement, or there is a magic pill that um, you take it once and it would just work, right? Or that there is the secret, the secret. If you follow this, then it's it's going to happen for you magically. The truth is that no, there is no magic bullet, there is no magic pill, and definitely there is no secret. Uh, anything or everything that you do once is not going to work all the time. Really, and the main topic of this presentation is talking about the things that we can do, that there are going to be things that we're going to do, do over and over again, and that is the secret sauce, right? The repetition, the consistency. So let's talk about what those steps may look like right? What is the strategy? And if we compare our business to a cake, right? And, and what's the strategy to do this business that will be to make it this beautiful and delicious cake? Well, definitely for strategy, in order to, for us to make a cake, we do need to have a recipe, right? The recipe that will be the method of what we need to do, what are the, the stuff that we need, right? To make this amazing and delicious cake. But following a recipe will not always work, right? We need something else. We need a mindset. We definitely know what we need to do, but we need to really be prepared in our mind, but right, to be able to make this method or this recipe work. How many of us don't know what is it that we need to do to lose weight, right? We all know that we need to eat healthy, we need to work out, but really, you know, even though we have the recipe, why is it that it doesn't work? Well, because we don't have the mindset. Well, same thing happened if we, if we have the mindset, but we don't follow the steps, right? So you definitely have to have both to be able to be successful. Now, in the method or recipe, we also need to have certain steps, right? And the first one are going to be the ingredients because if we have the flour, we have the butter, we have the sugar, and we dump everything together, mix it all up, are we going to have a beautiful cake like this? Certainly not, right? What we also need is the measurements, right? We need to know what goes first, you know, what ingredients, how we're going to do it. So this is where I lose a lot of people. Because some people say, well, you know, I already know the five steps of, of the success plan that we have, right? Our system in, at Actives. And, and I am also doing all these trainings and I'm listening to, you know, um, Jim Rohn and I'm listening to Tony Robbins and Eric Worre to develop this strong mindset. And I'm getting really good at invitations and presentations and closing, right? But if you don't measure, the times that you're inviting and presenting, that's where we lose people, right? We do need to have some uh, measurement. So let's talk about the rhythm. What is the rhythm that we need to be able to launch your business successfully? And the rule is 200. 200 is the magic number. I know I said it, it's a magic number. Why? Why is it a magic number? Well, let's talk about it. To launch, your business in an explosive way, you must contact 200 people from your database in the first 10 days, all right? We're talking about, this is going to be challenging. We, our goal really is to get 20 people in our business in, a, in, in doing it within 30 to 60 days. So in order to be able to do that, you do need to have a list. And if you have been in the business for a while, like I have, you probably need to have another new 200 names in your database, right? But the key here is in the first 10 days. So what does that look like? It looks like you have to invite 20 people per day in the next 10 days, 20 people per day. I know that's challenging. I know that I'm taking you out of your comfort zone, but you know what? Let me tell you, this is going to be worth it. It's almost like if you're trying to take your Band-Aid, right? And you do it very slowly and you're pulling every single hair in your, in your arm, it hurts, right? Uh, 
it's easier if you do it fast. So that's the reason we're doing it in the first 10 days. So what is it going to look like when you contact um, 200 people? Okay. And you, I mean, this is important. I'm not telling you to give 20 presentations per day. I'm telling you to invite 20 people out of those 200 people that you contacted is going to look like about 100 are going to tell you, yeah, I'm open. And maybe the other 100 are not even going to respond to you or not going to be interested. All right. Out of those 100, maybe 50 people will show up to your presentation or the meeting or the call or whatever that is, is it that you're doing. Right. 50 people. And out of those 50, about 10 people maybe become customers and another 10 will become business partners, which is about 10%, all right? And that is an average of numbers. Now, watch it. This is important. It's a numbers game. It's not a skill game. I know a lot of you are thinking, no, I'm just not very good at inviting, or maybe I'm not very good at following up, or the presentation, or the compensation plan to explain it is so difficult. It doesn't matter. This is a statistics. This is a numbers game. If you are better if you have more skills that's even better you're going to have even better results but even if you were a god of multi-level marketing and you were an expert of 20 years of experience only about 30 percent okay will say yes so out of every 10 maybe three of them will say yes to you if you're an expert if you're a normal person okay that's fine you're gonna be getting about one every 10. So this is the reason and this is the secret sauce, right? Now, assuming you are on board, this is the, the I like this example, right? Who of these two animals is going to win the race? The slow and steady or the super fast rabbit, right? The turtle or the rabbit? And the answer is the turtle, right? If it stays on track, because even if it's going slow, eventually it will get there. The rabbit will be fast, but then it will get tired because it goes so fast, it goes tired, and then won't make it to the end. What I'm trying to say here is not that you should be slow and steady, because for what we're preparing right now in terms of action plan, instead of um, for the purpose of launching, having an explosive launch in your business, you have to do it fast, but you have to be steady, okay? You have to be consistent. Now, um, yeah, I mean, the turtle wins, but I'm not telling you to be like the turtle and be slow and steady. I'm telling you to go fast, but stay consistent, right? The people that say, if you stay in your business for two or two to four years, you know, you're eventually going to find you know, freedom, you're going to get there. The truth is a slow and steady doesn't necessarily make it in this business, especially when you're preparing your launch. Now, let's um, see, you go to the, you sign up for the, for the, um, you sign up for, for the gym. Sorry, I'm like getting messages constantly on my phone and it's distracting me. So you sign up for the gym, right? With me, I'm your coach. And you tell me, you know what, Claudina, I'm going to be coming seven days a week. I want to get stronger. I want to be fit. So we make a plan, but life happens, right? And those six days, you could not make it to the gym. So you come on the seventh day and you ask me, Claudina, like, which one is the weight that I'm going to lift to be able to basically work, I mean, compensate with what I didn't do on those six days, do I go for the biggest one so I can really be fit? The answer is no. The answer is you have to lift the one that you can lift and that you can do the repetitions. And the truth also is that for you to really get a strong arm, right? You have to break the muscle and to be able to break the muscle, you have to do the repetitions every day, right? So no, there's not going to be a one thing that you're gonna really do for one day and it's gonna magically happen. You have to do the work consistently, right? And follow the recipe to be able to get the results that you want. So there is no uh, one hardest way to lift here. 
Now, what's the reality, right? Let's look at these three stories of Carlos, Luis, and Juan, right? Those three individuals that decide, you know, they want to do this business, let's work for it. And we're going to look in the results of different areas in their lives. And we're going to look into their income, their health, the relationships, the happiness, and the success. And Carlos uh, decides to launch you know, the business with the 200 database people contacting 20 people a day for the first 10 days, right? And what happens to Carlos is that he starts getting, you know, new distributors, new clients, it starts rising up. Luis, on the other hand, is doing the 20 calls one day, but the next day he only does two. And then the third day, maybe only five, right? He's trying his best. He's really trying to do it, but he hasn't been able to accomplish the right number. So he's, you know, kind of getting some results, getting some distributors, but it's kind of in the middle. Whereas Juan, he's listening to audios, preparing his mind, He's also getting on the Zoom calls uh, every once in a while. Maybe when he goes to a party or a get together with family, we'll talk about the product, right? But it's very, not very consistent, but he's there. I mean, every day he does a little something. He's just not doing the right thing. What's going to happen in 27 months? Well, what's going to happen is that Carlos, maybe the first four or five months, starts ranking up, right, in, in, in rank advancements. Luis maybe gets to a, like a middle, kind of middle rank. You no, know, 27 months go by. Carlos is in the top ranks. Luis is in the middle ranks. And Juan is still, you know, not really rank advancing at all. Maybe he's A2, right, A1, still there. And looks at Carlos and bumps into him and is like, and asks him, like, what is it that you did? We started at the same time. What's going on? Like, you must have something in your presentation. You must be doing something because Juan doesn't believe in the probability on statistics of a numbers game, right? Juan does not believe on that. And because he doesn't have the belief and the conviction, he just doesn't do the things that you need to do. And for to in order, in able to in, in, able, in, in order to be successful, right? It's all going to depend on the decisions that you make that will lead to the behaviors that you take that will lead, lead to the habits, right? Um, for Carlos right now, it's, it, it really is just a way of doing his business. Maybe he's at this point, maybe he's in A12 or A10, right? He's not maybe doing the 20 calls a day, but he already has a team that is, that is duplicating that behavior, is helping them launch launch their businesses and really has built momentum, right? Luis, because he's not very consistent, he's in the middle of ranks and Juan is still sitting there. So I want you to look at your business. I don't care what is it that you did on the 2020 or 2021, if you've been in the business for a while, but recognize really that where you're at right now is what maybe the result that the stuff that you've been doing right and that you definitely can change that this year and that's where i want to talk about now think about this spaceship this spaceship in order in order to break gravity it really has to launch at a hundred percent pace right the speed has to be there how does it take off successfully it definitely takes off by an explosive launch that that's exactly what we're trying to accomplish in this launching of your business faster is always better faster is better in order to recruit 20 people you can do it the slow way or you can do it the fast way now how does it look to recruit 20 people in a fast pace right you take action you recruit 10 to 12 people, right? In the first 30 days, or maybe even 60 days if it takes you a little bit longer, right? And if you do it fast, you get 10 to 12 that are gonna take action. Now, if you do it in a slow pace, you may get six to eight people, right? In the, maybe in a year or who knows how long because you're going in a slow pace. Now, who are those people 
if you recruit 20, maybe if you do it fast, six to eight, it's gonna, they're going to stay. They're going to stay in the business because they're going to see results. They're going to see that's possible. If you do it the slow way, maybe three or four will stay, okay, out of those 20 that you recruited. Now, uh, about three to four of them, if you do it the fast way, will stay out of those 20. And if you do it slow, maybe one will become a leader, okay, in your business. So definitely doing it faster will get you more leaders because they will see results faster, right? If you recruit 20 people in a fast way, maybe one to two of them are going to learn to earn a lot of money, right? But if you do it the slow way, I don't know, very rarely you're going to see one. So that's the difference between doing it slow or doing it fast. Now, what we're trying to do here is create momentum. And in order for you to create momentum in your organization, it's going to look a lot like the picture in the left. You see a lot of fires and you barely, I don't know if you see it, if you have a lot of an imagination, you see a person in the middle just really fighting, right? And that's going to be you. It's going to be you by yourself trying to create momentum in your business. But eventually, once you do the ingredients in the measurements exactly like we're telling you to do it, you're going to have people coming on board and that's going to start duplicating your business because definitely the speed of the group is going to be, to be determined by the speed of the leader. Now, in order to prepare for this launch, you have to take at least two days to prepare just for preparation before you get started, right? What's gonna look like? Well, first of all, you're going to define your personal commitment. What you're doing is not going to be easy. It's definitely gonna take you out of your comfort zone, but you're going to do it anyway. That doesn't mean you have to quit your job. That doesn't mean you have to not see your family at all. It just means that you're going to really focus on the activities. Uh, that are going to generate income and momentum in your organization. So define your personal commitment. Regardless of what's going to happen in your life, you're going to do it. You're going to commit 100%. And at least, the very least, you're going to be able to, see, to say that in 30 days, you were committed 100%. I don't know if many of you right now have ever done it regardless of how long you've been in the business. Step number two, free your agenda, okay? You're definitely going to determine what it's going to look like, right? It, maybe, maybe those 30 days, you have to wake up at five o'clock in the morning to be able to accomplish what you need to accomplish. But it's up to you. You are in charge. Make sure your agenda is free, that you do not commit to activities that are going to take your focus from your business. Step number three, be conscious of the sacrifice that you're making. It's definitely going to be hard. It's, you're definitely going to have, um, uh, you're going to be out of whack, out of balance for a period of time, but that's going to create and give you a long-term balance in your, or in your life, right? So, short term, short term um, on balance in your life to get a long term balance. I think that is worth it. Step number four, we need to negotiate with our family. They need to know what we're going to be doing. They need to know they're probably not going to get your attention very much, okay, because you're going to really be doing it. You don't have to ask them to do it with you. You don't have to ask them to believe that you know your product or your business. You're just asking them to be understanding and to be supportive of what you're gonna be doing. And maybe you are not gonna be around very much to go to the movies with them or not gonna be around doing the extra things that you normally do with them and because these 30 days are going to be hard and they're gonna be worth it, okay? The next one is gonna be eliminating distractions. Yes, 
Netflix can be one of them, right? Uh, there are going to be many, there are many distractions. Social media can be a distraction when you're not using them to contact people, right? So try to eliminate that. The next one is going to be talking to your team. If you already have a team, right? This is not going to be the time that you're going to be giving presentations for the, for their distributors. This is not going to be the time that you're going to be doing trainings. You're going to focus on bringing 20 people on board between preferred customers and distributors. So this is also another time to revive or yeah, revive, I think is, is, the, is the word for it, the death. Okay. People that are not taking action in your business, this is not going to be the time that you're going to try to motivate them to do the business. You're going to just let them know what you're doing. If they want to join you, that's great, but you're not going to be there for them. You're going to be here for your business because you have a focus of bringing 20 people in 30 days. So you need to communicate that with them. The next one is making a list of 200 new names new names you're not going to be harassing the people that you already talked to before you're going to be bringing and talking to new people 200 new names and last but not least you need to polish those skills all right if you feel not very confident on your invitation you have two days to get prepared for that there is a gazillion trainings on polishing your skills maybe you need to talk to your offline and get some you know feedback or get them some ideas, right? Figure it out, but you got two days to do that. Next, you're going to divide the month into three segments, all right? The first segment is, means like the first 10 days is going to look like this. You're going to contact, invite, and present. Maybe what you're going to do is connect them, right, into the Zoom calls that you already have planned every night. Maybe you have your upline if you do have one to do a presentation or different leaders, right? You can gather them up, have initiative and say, hey, you know, for 30 days we're going to do, or the first 10 days we're gonna have presentations in the morning and at night every single day. Who can do one Monday morning? Who can do it? like the first 10 right 10 days because we're talking to a lot of people it's going to be very difficult to give the follow-up to do the closing you know we're always inviting and plugging them into the presentations or we're also presenting the business with our maybe our upline or by ourselves if you're confident enough now so the first 10 days that's the focus the second 10 days is going to be used for follow-ups, right? We're gonna be, we already contacted 200 people in the first 10 days. So we're gonna be doing a lot of follow-ups, a lot of um, three-way um, three calls, third-party third party validations. Maybe we're like, they didn't make it into the day that we, they said that we're gonna come. Maybe you invite them to another one, right? Just do as many exposures as they can. Questions are your secret sauce. You do need to, ask a lot of questions, whatever they ask you, that's perfect. Those questions and those objections that they have, that's where you're going to be able to respond or give them the answers or lead them into the right direction. Now, the third uh, 10 days, the last three day, 10 days are going to be for closing, all right? You have, they have already seen enough information, right? In this 20 days that they should be able to know either they want to join as a distributor or they want to join as a preferred customer. The most important thing here is really be committed 100% on this, um, this uh, activities, right? And what that leads to is after you really are able to do this, there's going to be nobody that can stop you. You will be unstoppable. You will be on fire and your team will follow that, right? When you, when you see your upline or someone that you know, they, they rank advanced, what does that create in you? That creates, you know, that force that says, yes, it can be done. There's people that are rank advanced and there are people that are making it. Differently, I can make it too, right? They are joining into a team that are making things happen. 
and communicate your vision. When you talk to your prospects, when you talk to your team too, right? Communicate that you are only looking for your 10 distributors because that's really what you're looking for, right? This challenge is going to be recruiting 10 people for your business. And definitely can be the hardest thing you, that you will do in your business, but it will be worth it because you are worth it because your future is worth it. Your family is worth it. And you should communicate your personal vision with the people that you're talking to and tell them, I'm looking for my 10 captains that will take over this city or this business with me, that I'm going to teach them how to recruit their 10 too. Are you one of them? Are you, part, are you ready to join, join me in this project, right? And with that, you're going to help them, right? Apply these three steps. First, you help them find two people, then you help them find their five people. And when they find their 10, they are ready to go. You don't need to do very much more with them other than you know, keep in touch with them, but they know exactly what they're doing. Apply the pendulum effect, right? And the pendulum effect says, fail as much as you can. The key of success is to fail massively. As a matter of fact, the more you fail, right, the better it is because when you fail more than anyone else, you learn more than anyone else, right? And when you fail in everything you can, there's not going to be anybody that can tell you otherwise. You know exactly what not to do and what you need to do. And go for the no. If you get really anxious, anxious looking for a yes, maybe maybe you're just looking for the now, right? You're just really just sorting and sifting, like which one is interesting, which one is not interested. That's really all you're going to be doing in the first 10 days. And when you do have a contact list of 200 people, that gives you a little bit more posture because really when you call somebody, right? When you invite somebody, you can tell them, you know? I have 200 people that I'm about to call. You're one of the first one. I have 199 more to talk to, but I'm calling you because you are important to me because I know what you're made of, because you, I know that you have the skill set that will work in this business venture. And this is the reason I'm contacting you. Are you in or you're out, right? And to finish, I want you to not wait until you're ready. I want you to take action instead of, you know, waiting until you're ready to take action. Okay, take, take action to be ready. That's the invitation. Don't wait. Take action to be ready. Thank you very much for allowing me to share this with you. And I really wish you nothing but the success that you deserve. We do have a very special thing here in Act Act Actives. We do have the perfect storm and we're at the perfect time. The only thing that we need is your commitment, is your massive action, and definitely no room for excuses. Thank you so very much. Great. Well, thank you, Claudina. That was awesome. I think um, not only everyone on this call as distributors and leaders loved your presentation, but I think our CEO, David Brown, took it to heart um, because you were talking about it being a numbers game and not a skills game. And so for David, um, that hit home, you know, I don't want to say what number Anne was before, you know, she, um, he date um, or David dated her, but he knows the numbers game more than anybody else. Um, but nonetheless, <clears throat> I always got to poke my fun to David here and there. But these two presentations go hand in hand. I don't know if everyone saw um, Jerry's um, chat or, or message in the chat, um, but they both have a plan, right? Uh, Christy, uh, Trisha talked about, you know, A3, A3, you know, Claudina, 200, 200. But from there, not just numbers or not just a rank, they specifically have a plan 
um, to reach those numbers and the success that you can achieve by reaching those numbers. And I love that. I mean, just really concrete information, um, plan, plan of action to, um, to be where they currently are and then even to go beyond that. And so Club Dina, I love it. Thank you so much um, for that presentation, the repetition and the consistency that it will take to follow this action plan um, is definitely paramount in reaching the success um, that you already have achieved and that you are teaching each and every one on this call to um, be successful. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, hope you feel better, hope your, your husband and your family feel better um, because you just made all of us feel better today um, knowing that we have a plan of action um, and numbers that we need to hit in order to be successful in this business. So thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy schedule um, to make that video. Um, so thank you <clears throat> so much. Okay, moving forward, um, um, we have a special guest um, and he's special, not in the, the sense that he's, you know, this is his first time but he's special because he's not your typical comes. doctor. <laughs> Brett, don't interrupt me because I'm gonna- Here, here say it something comes. That I need. No, no, are you kidding? Everybody hold on, here it comes. No, but um, Dr. Earl um, will be our last presenter uh, for this active school um, and you know, Dr. Earl is a board certified physician, you know, for over 18 years now. Um, so when we say doctor, um, he's really a doctor. Um, and he worked, you know, practicing emergency medicine for 15 of those years. Um, but there was always a limitation. He always fixed people after the fact. And so, you know, being as smart um, as he is, you know, he wanted to, to change you know, um, the way of thinking, the way he helps people, but instead of fixing them after the fact, he opted to study and practice, practice integrative medicine, right? So now he's more focusing on restoring health, preventing illness and avoiding, you know, surgeries or, or these prescriptions whenever possible. And that's why Dr. Earl is special. In fact, he's even more special because usually when doctors speak, we sleep. Right. But when Dr. Earl speaks, I get fired up. I mean, he even goes to Japan and he fires the people up in Japan because every time David goes, they sleep. But when Dr. Earl comes there, man, he can't even speak Japanese. But yet the Japanese are like, yeah, you know, they're so excited. So he's a great presenter. Um, love his stories. Um, he's a great family man. Um, he loves outdoors. You know, he played college basketball. Um, he loves farming um, and he loves traveling, but more than anything else, he loves helping people. And that's a recurring team, theme, team. You can tell I'm from Hawaii, I don't see my TH is really good. My, the theme um, that's all who's you know, involved in actives is they always willing to help other people, whether it's physically like Dr. Earl as a doctor, you know, mentally, um, you know, emotionally, um, spiritually, however you want to help people, we have those kinds of people here at Actives. And so I would like to turn the time over to the one and only Dr. Brett Earl. Wow, that's quite an introduction. I, um, I'm actually surprised that the teasing wasn't a little bit better. Um, come on, Stu, seriously, buddy. Um, I, I figured it's early Saturday morning for you, so I want to have you enjoy your weekend. So a quick intro, um, we are going to play a video that I made um, just simply because I'm, I'm actually here at my office at home um, and uh, left some of my notes at the office at work. Um, and I think the video is really, uh, it's, it really hits, hits the point of the power of these, these products. And I, here I am in my home office. I, I want you to know <clears throat> that right here in my home office, literally within uh, grasp, what do I have? I have Optimend, I have Link, I have Genomics. These 
really are. Um, it, it's not just me getting up here and saying, wow, these are amazing, rah, rah, rah. It's not a cheerleader event for me. The reason I'm passionate about this is because I use these every day. Um, so you have the opportunity to make an impact with people's health, which changes lives. If you want to talk about the biggest ways that you can change someone's life, you impact their finances, you impact their health, and then you impact their mindset. <clears throat> and I've got to take a little tangent here on the side. I do have a little bit of a cold. And so as I was telling Stu about that, he said, is your voice going to sound more manly? Seriously? <laughs> so, yes, Stu, this is for you. My voice is sounding extra manly for Stu. <clears throat> um, but I do do have, you know, a little bit of a cold. And so, again, that's, that's uh, another reason for us to do use the video. But back on track, if I may. These change people's lives. And really, if you can impact people in those three ways, you will shift their, their entire perspective of life. It's empowering and it helps them move forward. Um, that's really, for me, the excitement about actives is the fact that you affect those three areas that have such a major influence on everyone else. And as I've listened to the training today, really, they talk about some very important things, which is focus. I'm all about these triangles. So focus, which is um, making sure that you are really um, honed in on what you're going to be doing. You, you just make sure you're in it. Second is consistency, and that's, that means action. So you just really have to be consistent about it. And then the third is volume. Volume, in, it means that you're going to be going through a fair number of people and you're going to be touching those people up to 200 and and inviting them. And then that's how you get your people to connect. That's that that's that second triangle, if you will. So kind of fun stuff. OK, so preface to the video, um, I'm, I'm waxing a little bit uh, lengthy here. Apologies. So I was asked to look at um, this video and create the connection between the trifecta and mitochondria. <clears throat> the reason is because um, there is a, a, a few companies out there that they're starting to focus on the importance of mitochondria and your individual health. So let me just kind of, and, and as I looked at that, I was like, wow, we've got the trifecta that really helps this immensely. It's amazing what it will do for the mitochondria. So mitochondria are these energy sources. They're the powerhouses in your individual cells the estimates are between 10 and 15 percent of your total volume inside of your body is actually made up of mitochondria we actually know that um, diseases like dementia alzheimer's parkinson's a lot of the neuro diseases actually are diseases of the <coughs> mitochondria so as we start to look at these the, the trifecta and its power at affecting the mitochondria and improving the mitochondria, again, you're going to change lives in that key piece of health. And then you invite them, <clears throat> excuse me, to, to change lives, change their life financially, and then you train them and bring them into a mindset of, of well-being and, and health and moving forward. It's just very powerful. So I hope you enjoy the video, and then if you have some questions or some comments afterwards, I will obviously still be available. And Stu, back to you. Hey, here we go. Angie, there's no sound on the video. I don't think we still can hear it, Angie.
Hello, this is Dr. Earl with Actives. I've been asked to do a brief review uh, in regards to the trifecta and its effect on mitochondria. And this is pretty exciting. Um, mitochondria are the powerhouses of our bodies. They estimate that up to 10% of our body weight is actually made up of mitochondria in each of our individual cells. So it really plays an important role in our energy level, our activity. Um, and interestingly enough, obviously, if there's an overuse or a misfunction, dysfunction of mitochondria, then it uh, produces additional inflammation. As a powerhouse, it's responsible for burning the energy that we put into our body, the carbohydrates, the fats, etc., turning that into ATP, which is then what our cells can use as energy to fuel us as we move throughout our daily activities. And that includes everything from thinking thought, um, mental activities to out there chopping wood. I mean, whatever you decide you're going to be doing for the day, it's dependent upon mitochondria. Well, part of that process of producing that amount of energy also means that it produces a significant amount of oxidative stress. This is where oxidative stress comes from. That then produces inflammation. And so really understanding mitochondria and understanding the central role of the trifecta with mitochondria is very important. So let's see what uh, what the research shows. Now, I'm just going to pull up a few articles today. Understand that there are a host of articles that can confirm a lot of what we're going to talk about today. So let's see what we let's see what we discover. So first article we're going to talk about is this mitochondria bio biogenesis and clearance. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a balancing act. They are um, responsible for creating the energy, but part of that energy production means that they're going to drive up inflammation. Well, we know that NRF2, um, and in uh, active terms, that is genomics, NRF2 is an activator of mitochondria. It works at the, migra um, sorry, the membrane level of the mitochondria. And so it activates that and, and allows them to function more, more proficiently. Um, the reality is as well that the NRF2 will actually get in and alter the DNA in a positive way and make it so that more mitochondria can be available. And so that's very exciting. But understand, one of the key components about genomics is the fact that it um, also produces and activates 300 additional genes. I'm sorry, 3,000 additional genes. Missed a zero there. 3,000 to 4,000 additional genes in your DNA that then balance out the inflammation. If we're simply um, producing more and more mitochondria, that really can be problematic because then that will increase the oxidative stress. It has to be a balance. And the beautiful thing about an NRF2 activator versus a NRF1 activator is the NRF2 actually activates additional genes that bring everything into balance. Whereas an NRF1 really has been shown to activate um, mitochondria and perhaps produce more, but it doesn't bring everything into balance. That's key. It's beautiful to have the balance. And if without the balance, we might be producing too much inflammation if we have too many mitochondria. And with the balance, we keep everything in a proper function. And this really talked about, again, clearance, keeping everything in balance, a beautiful article. This article talked again about the multifaceted role of uh, NRF2 in uh, mitochondrial function. So again, not only activating, balancing out the, the, the membranes, making sure it works better, but then also keeping that oxidative stress under control. Um, again, very important as we move forward. And they've shown that mitochondria dysfunction is one of the leading co contributors to um, everything from um, Parkinson's disease, um, uh, dementia, all of your neurodegenerative disease have some form of mitochondrial dysfunction and imbalance. And I, I really want to make sure that that's an important point that you take home. Balance and keeping things in balance is very, very key. Okay, <clears throat> again, another article, The Emerging Role of NRF2 in Mitochondrial Function, talks about uh, um, NRF2. It's a pr prominent player in supporting the structure, fun function, integrity of the mitochondria. It's particularly critical under conditions of stress. Wow, that's really key. And we all find ourselves under a significant amount of stress right now. So again, NRF2 is really this balance. Um, it's really key. And, and may I say, 
uh, as we kind of move through this, the uh, NRF2 and it balancing um, those components really is critical um, to, to keep um, those stressors that we have, COVID, whatever it may be, uh, the stress of the environment, the stress of work and whatever has going on under control and keeping it in balance. So we don't want to just push mitochondrial function um, without, without some type of balance. Now, one of the other key components about genomics that's really fun and exciting is the fact that it actually is 10 times more effective than previous versions of NRF2 activation. And that has been proven through the research. And so it's key to get not only a very potent dose into you, um, but use something that balances the system rather than just drive a particular function. Genomics does that, and it's uh, it's very critical from that standpoint. And if you have something that balances systems rather than just driving it um, um, without any type of, of um, system in order to keep it in check, then you end up with, again, additional inflammation and oxidative stress, and that's a problem. All right, <clears throat> again, an additional article that talks about the role of NRF2, the fact that it uh, will both help with uh, inflammation, it helps with um, using of energy, and then also helps with the oxidative stress. And so, again, just a great article, lots of descriptions and, um, you know, pretty pictures, etc. We could go through a lot of this, but understand the key component is NRF2 uh, in increases the, uh, the role and the effectiveness of the mitochondria. It actually um, helps to then balance the inflammation and keep everything in check. Okay. Again, I've talked about this previously. We're talking about NRF2 signaling and uh, mitochondrial function in Parkinson's disease. Now, this talked about actual Parkinson's disease, but imagine if you keep everything in balance in, in regards to genomics and your NRF2, you're actually going to be as uh, not only helping with Parkinson's, if you have it, but also be able to um, be able to lessen this the, the likelihood that you'll ever come up with Parkinson's. That's key. All right, let's talk a little bit about uh, tetrahydrocurcumin. So really, the amount of research that's out there on tetrahydrocurcumin is immense. And you have to understand that then they, so they, they did a copious amount of research on curcumin and its role on inflammation, um, DNA modification, modulation in a positive way of the immune system, making your immune system stronger, better, and, uh, and in balance. Um, and the list just goes on and on. Well, again, they found that this uh, that the, the component of tetrahydrocurcumin is um, significantly more powerful. It's the end result. It's the powerful product of the curcumin. It's what we want in high quantities inside of our body to have these amazing effects. Well, that is really Optimate. Optimend is tetrahydrocurcumin packaged in such a way that it gets past the stomach acid, it gets past, past the alkaline of the duodenum, and gets where it can be absorbed and really make a big impact in your body. It's absolutely critical from that standpoint. But again, once it gets into your body, it epigenetically mitigates mitochondrial dysfunction. What this means is that if the mitochondria start drifting towards dysfunction, tetrahydrocurcumin keeps it in proper function. And again, this was a test that really looked at, um, and I skipped a test, but um, that looked at disease, already diseased mitochondria, and made it work even better. This uh, article that I just jumped into, they actually did a test to show that tetrahydrocurcumin, during times of ultimate stress, meaning a brain stroke, so the area of the brain is receiving no oxygen, no nutrients, it's, um, it's heading towards impending death. It actually mitigated, meaning lessened uh, the the uh, the, um, the 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 side effects, the serious side effects of that by altering mitochondrial dysfunction, so that it didn't produce too much oxidative stress. Wow, kept everything in balance and the vasculature during ischemic stroke. And it showed that it was absolutely beneficial during these episodes. So even during the most ultimate, biggest stress component that you can have, tetrahydrocurcumin is protective. So imagine what it can do when we're not under those times of absolute amazing stress. So it brings things back into balance. Here we talked about, again, tetrahydrocurcumin, homocysteine, and uh, mitochondria. So tetrahydrocurcumin, 
altering um, the homocysteine. Homocysteine is one of the things that we measure in foundational medicine to look at the amount of cellular inflammation and oxidative stress that you have inside your body. Tetrahydrocrumin has been shown to reduce the effects of the homocysteine on the mitochondria. So again, absolutely amazing at increasing the, um, the ability of the mitochondria to do what it needs to do and reducing the things that provide toxicity or decrease its function. Really, really cool. Uh, tetrahydrocurcumin. So this was a very interesting but bizarre study, but I thought it was interesting in the fact that they purposefully gave arsenic, which is known to be a mitochondrial toxin, a significant mitochondrial toxin, and they actually then gave them tetrahydrocurcumin. And they shown that the tetrahydrocurcumin was effective at um, preventing and also reducing some of the arsenic-induced um, uh, oxidative damage to the mitochondria. So again, whatever the source, whether it's from your own cellular inflammation, from your from outside external toxins, from you know whatever the case may be, from the the, the ongoing oxid oxidation that occurs in a mitochondria, tetrahydrocurcumin is protective. Absolutely amazing. Tetrahydrocurcumin mitigates um, and ameliorates brain cell death associated with hom hyperhomocysteinemia. So again, this is a, um, a test that showed, again, during ischemic stroke and other areas when there's going to be an elevated inflammatory response, tetrahydrocumin actually, again, not only balanced it out, but made it so that the mitochondria did not head towards dysfunction. Uh, absolutely amazing study and test. Okay. This study uh, really looked at butyric acid. So when we talk about butyric acid and its role with mitochondria, absolutely powerful. Um, it improves mitochondrial function, alleviates oxidative stress, and uh, ameliorates the fatty liver. So again, a great study that really looked at butyric acid improving uh, mitochondrial function. It does this several ways. Remember, butyric acid is a short chain fatty acids, and a lot of these membranes that make up mitochondria, I and mean, look at this description of a mitochondria, look at all of this membrane, not only the yellow, but the pink, though that's, that's membrane that's a, um, affected, outer membrane and inner, inner membrane. Well, butyric acid is absolutely key at keeping those, that, that membrane healthy, active, and doing, that it's, doing what it's supposed to do. So this cellular power plant that they talk about here, really adds to um, the um, the function of your life. It, it really is what leads to your being healthy. So butyric acid directly improves mitochondrial function, not only through my, uh, the, the membrane alteration that it, that, that it performs, which is improving it, but it actually gets in and, um, and makes the DNA more active and susceptible to, to improving its function. So it's an epigenetic modulator, not only inside your normal DNA, but inside the DNA of a mitochondria. I don't know if you knew this, but mitochondria actually has its own DNA. It almost acts as its own organism inside of your cells. And butyric acid absolutely influences the mitochondria in that way. Tetrahydrocumin curcumin does this well, which is also very exciting. And we know that the NRF2 is a cellular modulator and a DNA modulator as well. So absolutely awesome. All right. Last article I'm just going to really quickly talk about um, is this this article that again looked at some of the things with Parkinson's disease and so forth. The fact that uh, butyric acid really controls inflammation, signals the white blood cells. I mean, it's just on and on what uh, butyric acid does as far as helping us with inflammation. Um, Parkinson's patients need that additional support from uh, from the mitochondria um, activation. Well, again. Uh, butyric acid improves dopamine synthesis, and they, they talk about how that works here as well. It resupplies the mitochondria, so it actually gets the mitochondria set up to continue its function and move forward. And ultimately, that means that we're having mo more, um, more mitochondria to do what, we, what it needs to do, but kept in balance. That's the power of the trifecta, is the fact that everything is kept in balance. And then the critical role really is bioavailability, making sure that you're actually able to get the butyric acid into your system 
And that's the beauty of Link is the fact that it is wrapped within the Psylocke, I'm sorry, the, yeah, the Psylocke technology, and then it's released with Dexkey um, at the, the appropriate time so it can get into our bodies in high enough numbers to have a big impact. So long story short, um, in regards to the trifecta and mito mitochondrial function, absolutely stimulates mitochondrial function, improves its function, so that makes it so that your existing mitochondria work better. Um, it um, improves DNA function, cleans your DNA, makes it so that, it, again, it works better. It, if you're low in mitochondria, it'll actually propagate the synthesis of new mitochondria. And then the balancing act is absolutely critical because it helps reduce the oxidative stress. That is key and actually a function that the mitochondria has to do. It needs to burn that high energy and the result of that of burning energy and carbohydrates, fats and, and proteins within our body is oxidative stress. And so it helps lower the oxidative stress, which in turn decreases the toxicity that results from, from that process. So the mitochondria are um, activated, they're cleaned up, and they just function better. That, that's the trifecta. So I invite you to um, talk to your representative more about the, the power of the trifecta, and I hope this helps. All right, my best to you, and take care. That was awesome, um, Dr. Earl. I'll turn the time back to you to conclude that. Yeah, no, thank you. <clears throat> I, I noticed during, as I'm watching the video, I, I really did talk a lot about the balance, but, um, and, and you know, I, I want you to really pick up on that because as, as, we, as we look inside of our lives, you know, when, and I just, putting, putting each of these pieces in, in its own, in its own role of, of action, of mindset, of, of products and so forth really brings that into balance in our lives. Well, just like the trifecta brings inside of our bodies, the mitochondria, the oxidative stress, the energy production that we all have to have to function, that's all brought into balance. And, and like I said, it's, it's, it's real. It just, it's sitting right here. Um, you know, it's, it, it makes a difference in people's lives. Don't be shy about it. Get out there, share it, um, let them know that it's amazing. Let them try it. Uh, I can't tell you how many of my patients that I, I, I let them try it and then they run out and then they're back in within a, like two or three days and they're like, where's, where's, where's that, where's this, I need, and they just gobble it up because they, they realize it made such a big difference in their lives. And sometimes when we start taking it, it's not like this magic poof, we feel so much better. We, we need to take it for a little bit. It works. It's magic over time. And then with that time, we just start noticing more and more health benefits. Um, and, and again, don't be shy. It's amazing. It's an amazing product. It's an amazing process. And we have the most amazing people. Yes, that is so correct. And you're amazing. Thank you so much. We learned so much about the mitochondria today. Um, so I hope everyone benefited um, from these great presentations today. Um, definitely very, very well fed educationally um, and now just putting into action um, as you know our, our presenters um, pointed out. Um, so thank you, thank you so much for taking the time, um, Trisha and Claudina for presenting, uh, for creating those videos. Um, and Dr. Earl for taking time out of your um, busy schedule on a Saturday uh, morning um, to present that to us. So thank you everyone um, for listening in. Um, I hope you all learn um, a thing or two from these presentations. Um, I know I did. I have a full list of um, notes here um, ready to, to use and to share um, if anyone has any questions later on. Um, but definitely, um, this, this meeting wouldn't be complete unless we have our CEO, David Brown, closing us out. Um, and so I want to turn the time over to David um, to give our concluding remarks. Thanks, Stu. And thanks, everyone, for those remarkable presentations. Tricia and Claudina, those are amazing. Um, you know, we didn't assign topics and we didn't tell people to um, talk about particular things, but it's, it's not an accident that two of our leaders uh, ended up talking about the same things. 
because though, because as someone once said, success leaves clues. And so to be a successful leader in this or any other endeavor, you have to have a plan. You have to take action. Um, and, uh, and, and the things they talked about, while a couple of details may have been slightly different, um, overall, uh, it's almost, you know, they were saying exactly the same thing. You know, make a plan, take action, and be consistent. I really liked um, when they were both talking about what to do at the beginning, but also realizing that the beginning might change. Um, you know, if you think about Claudina's example of going to the gym, lots of people started 2022, as they do every other year, with great resolutions to go to the gym. And then uh, they find themselves not going to the gym, just like she mentioned. <laughs> but, once they, but that doesn't matter. What matters is ultimately starting and getting going. And then once you do that, um, making sure you're taking that action. I actually lo really love the way that she said, you know, massively fail. You know, if you think about it, I've been to the gym with Stu Carvalho, okay? And Stu is, Stu is really strong, all right? And so I like to work out and uh, I'm, not, I'm not nearly as, as good looking or as, as, as great as like my brother, Dick Nicholas Brown is. You, you, you guys didn't know that Nicholas is my twin brother, uh, there. We don't really talk a lot about that, but we have a lot in common. If you can see Nicholas on the video there. Welcome, Nicholas. Great to see you. And um, but he got the looks, the hair and everything in the family. I'm, I'm not sure what I got. But anyway, I've been to the gym with Stu. And, um, you know, I like to work out and I'll hit the dumbbells and I might say, OK, these 45 pound dumbbells, 55 or if I'm really feeling ambitious, 65. Now, Stu will go over to the 75s, the 85s. And I, I mean, the guy is strong. All right, and uh, but it doesn't mean that when I'm lifting that, I, I mean, it does mean that I'm failing to lift 75 or 85 or 95 pound dumbbells in each arm. But what it does mean is, and so from that standpoint, I'm taking action, but I'm not, I'm not succeeding at that particular action. But every action that I do take strengthens me. And I don't necessarily get dismayed or discouraged that I can't lift what Stu does now, but I keep getting stronger and stronger the more, the more time and effort I put into it and hoping that someday I'll be like my hero, Stu Carvalho, and be able to walk in the gym and get, and get looks and stares of, from everybody that, uh, as I walk in. But, uh, <laughs> but, it's, but the point is consistent action. Now, I also really enjoyed Dr. Earl's presentation, he talked about studies and, and talked about the effect upon the mitochondria and upon balance. You know, you might all be interested to know of, an, of another study that just recently came out that I think will be of interest to everyone. And this is um, a new genomic study. PB123 is the scientific name for genomics. And look what it talks about. The, uh, it, its effect upon NERF2 activation, gene expression, and in this particular case, the cholesterol pathway in, in liver cells, um, and which is a common cell lining that scientists use to test, um, to test uh, formulas. And um, you, might be, you might be gratified to know, and we're gonna post this so everyone can have access to this, that while it specifically talks about nerf 2 activation in regards to lowering um, those genes associated with uh, cholesterol biosynthesis or the creation of cholesterol, it also talks more generally and reconfirms that PB123 is a very potent NERF2 activator. And it talks about why, that's so, why that is um, so important, much like Dr. Earl did. It goes on and on about um, cytoprotection. Cyto means cell, okay? And we all know what protection means. And so NERF2 is is protecting our cells, protecting that mitochondria, just like Dr. Earl talked about. And so it goes into detail as to how that happens. And it talks about how, how um, aging really is a process of diminished NERF2 activity with diminished cytoprotective activity. And so if you can balance that, um, and, and, and it talks about how, how NERF2 increases the gene expression of of um, immune system building genes, anti-inflammatory genes, and other things that are, that are connected to cardiovascular health and cardiovascular protection, and the age-related physiological decline that comes uh, because of our NERF2 levels going down. But I really don't wanna, uh, you, we can all talk about that, and it's, it's, it's great to see additional information about PB123. 
But one thing that really caught my attention is there's a long discussion in this um, article about um, synergy and why the ingredients of PB-123 work together better than they work on their own. Now, the way that they measured this, and I wanna share something else here, is that you've all seen this before, I think, which actually shows that from a previous study, how, uh, how Dr. McCord and Dr. Hybertson and how other scientists will actually measure the effect of the gene expression. They actually coat it with an enzyme that causes when the gene expresses to light up, okay? And so they then measured the, the amount of light that's emitted. And so what, they, what this recent article talks about is how they measured all of that light of, of rosemary by itself, of ginger by itself, of Sephora japonica or luteolin by itself. And they measured all of the light emitted, all of the power, okay? And then they compared that to the light that was emitted or the expression when all of those three are put together in terms of the, the PB123 or one, yeah, 123, 160, 123. Um, <laughs> I was getting my numbers mixed up, 123 combination. And it shows that that synergy, that light, that power is greater than the sum of the individual parts. And it talks about how the, the, the advantage of using all three of these ingredients together rather than just one by itself are several fold. One, it talks about how activating NERF2 in our mitochondria is kind of a complicated physiological um, uh, effort. And so each of these three things, each of these three ingredients act separately in order to do that. Number two, it talks about how, and, and uh, Dr. Earl mentioned this, there's actually, there actually can be toxicity associated with NERF2 if it's uncontrolled. And so it, it, the, the, uh, the study actually mentions an FDA approved drug that is used for MS patients to increase their levels of NERF2. The problem with that drug, as the study indicates, uh, um, is that it actually can create a level of toxicity in the cells, even as it's creating NERF2. And so it goes on to talk about how PB123 or genomics increases NERF2 to the proper balance level without creating that, that toxicity. It also talks about how because of that toxicity that can occur, that there are, there are other genes within our DNA that will actually try to kick out NERF2 um, before it can effectively work. It will try and kick it out of the cell. And, um, and so that this counterbalances that so that it can get in, not create toxicity, and work within the cell for the, for the entire effective time that NERF2 uh, needs in order to operate at all of those three, three or 4,000 genes that it operates upon. Now, um, as I was reading this article, and I won't get into too much more detail, um, it reminded me that all of us are like capsules of genomics. You might say, hmm, where's he going with this? <laughs> and the reason it is, is that all of us by ourselves have um, have certain uh, talents, we have certain abilities, we have, we have certain um, light, if you will, that we can emit. But when we work together, when you create a team, when you do what both Trish and Claudina mentioned in working with your team, by, uh, getting to know um, what other people need in their lives and helping them grow their businesses, helping them achieve um, their own health and, and increase their, their financial position, as Dr. Earl mentioned, and really changing their lives, all of a sudden, that light, that power that we have is magnified in a synergistic way, and we create a much bigger influence, a much bigger light, if you will, just like these ingredients do when they act together rather than individually. So if people ask you, um, what, is, um, what is Actives all about? Well, you can say that what it's really about is the synergistic effect of a lot of good people working together to change lives in terms of affecting human health, affecting families' financial positions, and just making life better. And, uh, and that's pretty, you know, you, you're gonna hear me use this. This is my new theme word for 2022. You're gonna hear me use the word audacious a lot. I really like that word, okay? 
And I like it because what we're doing is audacious. When you go up to somebody and they're saying, are you kidding me? A guy like you is saying that you're on the cutting edge of, of epigenetic research, that you're talking about things that affect the mitochondria of the cell. Pretty audacious comment, you know, for a little startup company in Salt Lake City, Utah, with people that are, whether they are in Sacramento, California, whether they're in Maryland, whether they're in Virginia, whether they're in Michigan, whatever, saying, you guys think that you are on the cutting edge of this? You think that you can change lives? And the answer is, is a resounding yes. And you don't have to take our word for it. Go and look at these studies. Go and look at the effect of, that we've already had on thousands, tens of thousands of lives. And you'll understand that it really is audacious. And that, if nothing else, is gonna help you do exactly what Claudina said. Claudina said something that was really, really insightful when she was comparing the three uh, individuals on her graph. She said, I think it was Juan on the graph that he just didn't believe that it was a numbers game, that there must be some, there's some type of secret. And until you can learn that secret, it doesn't really, you know, you can try and improve yourself through listening to Tony Robbins or Eric Worre and all those things are fine. But unless you actually implement those things, that's like buying a new piece of exercise equipment, walking by it every day in your house and never getting on it. <laughs> it's not gonna benefit you. You can think about how if you actually do get on it, it's gonna benefit you. Yeah, that's true. And, but at the end of the day, it's also a numbers game. The more time, and in this case, the more time you spend on that piece of equipment or exercising, the more benefit you get. It's a numbers game. In fact, everything we do in life, frankly, is a numbers game. The more we do something, whether it's spending time on Netflix or working on your business, you're gonna get better at it. You're gonna get better at understanding um, as you binge watch a particular show, you'll get better at understanding those characters. You'll get better at being able to talk about it with your friends if that's what you really want. That, that, that numbers game works in, in every aspect of what we do. And the good news is, is even today, it's a numbers game on this call. Do you realize we have more people on this call than we've ever had before? That means people are talking more, they're sharing more, and that means that, that greater synergistic impact is occurring more, and that's awesome. And so I just wanna to conclude today's wonderful school by, by, by totally reemphasizing and supporting and endorsing every single thing that was said. It's been awesome. And uh, I hope that you'll take the time to review your notes, that, that, but more, more importantly, you'll really do what both Trish and Claudina said, that you'll take massive action, that you won't just look at those notes and say, man, that was amazing, that you'll take that amazing thing and share it with other people. And as you do so, you'll find that that synergistic effect, that light that you're sharing is growing exponentially and the effect that you'll have upon others is unbelievable. So thanks everybody. Um, again, Trish, Claudina, Dr. Earl, it's great having you with us. Back to you, Stu. Wow, thank you so much, David. I am so glad that we have an audacious CEO um, leading this company, someone who's bold. David, I have to actually look what audacious means, so don't get me wrong. I, I didn't even know what it means, but it's bold and daring. All right. And so, in fact, you, something interesting, David, that's the year of the tiger. The year of the tiger is bold braveness. Um, so we are, this is the word of the year, right? Because we're in the year of the tiger. Um, we have the products um, that, you know, David even pointed out, and each of you can have confidence, um, be bold and be brave in knowing that we have the latest Nerf 2 technology out there, um, as David pointed out, that there's studies on there that can help people um, with their health. Um, so thank you so much, David, for those words, um, those concluding remarks. Thank you once again, Dr. Earl, Claudina, and Trisha for taking time um, to teach us, to mentor us, um, and to provide us with the things that we need to get off the ground. I know Claudina and, and Trish, every time they talk, they always mention airplanes and space shuttles and rockets because we are lifting off um, and we're shooting for the stars um, <clears throat> to be successful. And so thank you so much um, for um, the presentation. So I will stop this.